It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer called Vedette and it's the Extra Blonde. It's by Morgat Brewery and they've been going since 1871. So a Belgian beer then. A Belgian can beer. Blonde Ale. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. I've seen this around a lot over the years. It's one of those beers I've never got around to trying. Mm. Extra blonde. Just wondering. Normally Belgian blonde ales, uh, they're a little bit they got a little bit of cloudiness going on. That almost looks like the aftermath of a nuclear attack. That looks like some kind of nuclear waste has gone into that lovely cloudy beer and it's made this almost shiny mess. Um, sorry if I'm sounding a little bit critical. It's just when I when I want to see a when I want to see an authentic Belgian blonde, I want to see a little bit of haze in it. I don't want to see it crystal clear like this. I'm not drinking a premium lager. I'm drinking a Belgian blonde. Right, let's get the aroma on this strange coloured lemon coloured yellow water stuff aroma and it smells of corn it doesn't smell like a Belgian blonde at all it smells like corn water uh, I suppose there's only one thing to do and that's to dive in cheers Absolutely terrible. Shocking, shocking stuff. I've had the Belgium Trappi Trappist monks or the people in Belgium who understand great Belgium beer. I bet they turn... I don't know. I bet they look at this beer in shame. In absolute shock horror. I, I, tastes like a pint of carling, a Heineken. There's the smallest amount of of Belgium yeast going on in the background, but when I'm when I say small, it's like I'm having to turn my brain every single ounce of my brain power into trying to find that little bit of Belgiumness about this blonde. Shocking, absolutely shocking stuff. If you've been watching the channel for a while, if you've been watching me drinking Belgian beers, then you'll know what they look like. You'll know for yourself. If, you, if you're an experienced beer drinker, if you've been trying beer from all around the world, then you'll know what a Belgian beer looks like. That is just, for me, it's disturbing. It's like they've got um, a cheap, cheaply made, lowest common denominator corn lager. Uh, they put the old uh, forced carbonation into it. They brewed it with corn and they've gone, right, we'll show the beer Belgium yeast. We might drop a little bit in by accident. This should be rebranded. One of those, what do they call them these days? Premium Lager. That should be rebranded as Vedette.
premium lager. There's no way they can call it a blonde. No way at all. Shocking stuff by Morgat Brewery. Absolutely shocking stuff. And I and I tell you one more thing as well. I bet the if the actual original owner of the brewery is, is in his grave and he's watching this right now, he's somehow able to watch it from above, then, you know, he, he would be shocked. He would be thinking, what on earth is that? That's not the beer I, I brought out. That's not what, what made this brewery famous. This brewery has been left in the hand of absolute imbeciles. Look at it. Rating. One out of ten. One out of ten. It's not one of them beers that I want to spit out. It's not one of them beers that I think to myself, oh my goodness me, this is just completely wrong. This is absolutely awful in the taste. I could tolerate it if I was at a friend's barbecue and he offered me a can of this and it had premium lager written down the side but I can't tolerate this I can't tolerate the fact that I bought a can of, of Blondale Belgian Blondale and it's looked like it looks like this it smells terrible and it tastes of corn water I just cannot believe it one out of ten. Absolutely terrible stuff. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.